how do we develop a culture of peace when most of us are in a state of anxiety, anguish, and depression? How do we inculcate a culture of peace when half of hum humanity is just trying to survive on a day-to-day -day basis? One simple question, and that question still motivates much of our work. And the question is, why is it that some people are more vulnerable to life's challenges, life's slings and arrows, and other people more resilient? Uh, and how can we nurture these positive qualities in people to promote more resilience, to promote uh, healthier minds? In 1992, actually here in India, that changed my life. And what happened to me is I met a gentleman who uh, you see in this picture, uh, His Holiness the Dalai Lama. In the first meeting I had with him in 1992, he challenged me and he said, look, you've been using tools of modern neuroscience to study anxiety and depression and stress and fear. Why can't you use those same tools to study kindness and compassion? Meditation and prayer both can definitely have positive results. And this has been known to our civilization for thousands and thousands of years. This is deeply embedded in the Hindu Buddhist ethic and the Jain ethic, I may add. And therefore, it should be easier for us to appreciate this. Most scientists do not um, place awareness as a constituent of well-being, but for many reasons we believe this is critical. And connection includes emotions which facilitate harmonious social relationships. Emotions like kindness, empathy, and the quality of maintaining a positive outlook. It's insight into the narrative that we all have about ourselves. And the fourth constituent of well-being is purpose, having a clear sense of direction, a sense that our life has meaning. Uh, our research leads us to the conclusion that well-being is a skill because each of the components of well-being can actually be trained. Very much like physical exercise, this is like mental exercise. And if we can train each of these different components, we can actually enjoy higher levels of well-being. The stress level among children is increasing, so that's why uh, well-being is one of the major components one should look into. Well-being uh, impacts education a lot because if students are not mentally healthy, so they can't concentrate on their study, Well-being is uh, about emotional balance. It is about being able to focus one's attention. It's being able to be empathic and kind to others. These are qualities of social and emotional learning and emotional intelligence, which research shows is actually far more important than academic performance in predicting major life outcomes.